Hey guys, welcome to Meet the Valve Nerd. My name is Michael and I'm product manager at the A. Schneider Group. Here in Meet the Valve Nerd, we work together to propound solutions to the everyday challenges confronting piping and design engineers, purchasers, maintenance guys and HGC engineers. And in my video today, we will talk about a few bit definitions, especially about the difference between the German TR Luft and the ISO 15848 standard. Let's start our knowledge video with a little bit of history. Since the invention of the US Clean Air Act in 1963, the US Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and individual states have set increasingly stringent consent decrees for fugitive emission from industrial facilities. Many companies have implemented leak detection and repair programs, and industry groups have focused efforts on helping member companies decrease valve emissions. To better achieve this reduction in valve emissions, Many standard organizations have established various test standards to assess the fugitive emission performance of valve packing and overall valve emissions. This has led to a wide variety of test standards. Organizations such as API, ISO, Shell Mask, ANSI and the German TR Luft all have established valve and packing test standards with possible variations to those given standards. Making the most use of these standards and the advantages and disadvantages of each have been the topic of many presentations, papers and discussions in the affected industries over the past several years. And that's why in this video I would like to compare the German TR Luft with the ISO 15848 standard of fugitive emissions. Okay, let's dive together into the world of the German TR Luft and the ISO 15848 standard. In the framework of ISO 15848, the entire industrial valve, including the body seals, will be subjected to type testing. TR Luft only deals with the sealing system of the stem passage. A simple manufacturer declaration is sufficient for verification. The ISO type test classifies the complete industrial valve into pressure, temperature, endurance and tightness class. The TR Luft test qualifies only a high quality sealing system. TR Luft is considered to be complied with if metal bellows with a safety packing or similar sealing systems are used, whereby the equivalence in the verification system must be confirmed in accordance with VDE 2440. VDE is the German association of engineers with a variety of different industrial standards. The requirements of the ISO type test are very specific and detailed, and as a result, the test duration for a complete ISO 15848 type test takes one to two weeks. The requirements of TR Luft are very general. The duration of a TR Luft test normally does not take longer than one to two days. There is no requirement neither to the number of mechanical cycles nor to the number of thermal cycles. The ISO 15848 consists of two parts. The first part is a classification system and qualification procedures for type testing of industrial valves. A distinction is made here between three tightness classes A, B and C. Class A has the smallest environmental leakage. Part 2 is a production acceptance testing of industrial valves. Only the products that have successfully completed the first part of the test may be subjected to this test. Leakage is tested at room temperature without mechanical effects, utilizing a helium leak detection test. Let's have a look on TR Luft. Many seal manufacturers like to advertise with TR Luft packings. Simply using TR Luft packings of this type does not guarantee long term leak tightness. Many other factors play a significant role in the sealing system. These include, for example, the stem surface finish and the gap dimensions between the gland and the stem.
So how to ensure you buy the best product available? In my opinion, I would say the ISO 15848 fugitive emission standard is the one to go for. And having said that, pay attention to how the valves are tested and always compare the manufacturer certificates. Some manufacturers conduct the test at room temperature or reduced temperature and low pressure only. And as a matter of fact, the stress on the valve packing and material is much higher at real operating conditions with high temperature and high pressure. Do also compare the number of cycles the valve has gone through to pass the test under the test temperature conditions. It's also noteworthy to mention that you should always go for quality when it comes to choosing the right valves for your application. State-of-the-art design and manufacturing technique achieves the highest peak of seal integrity. A good choice are ISO 15848 approved valves, which are excellent and reliable at reducing fugitive emissions. They improve plant safety and reliability and protect environment and health. Consequently, minimizing fugitive emissions using appropriate valve designs and proper maintenance can save a considerable amount of capital. To conclude, I would say employing valves compliant with ISO 15848, the most comprehensive fugitive emission standard today, valve users can introduce significant operating cost savings while benefiting at the same time by improving health and safety and reducing environmental impact. Good, are you making progress? Perfect, and that is why we're here. At the Valve Nerds, we work together closely with our customers in everyday life to make your job easier. So whenever you have a challenge with the project, just come up with a problem. You can immediately contact us via the comment section and we will advise you individually. And if you would like to get inspired by the Valve Nerds and it sounds like something that could help you grow your business, Make sure to join our channel Meet the Wolf Nerd by subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a like and share with your friends and on social media. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Goodbye, Michael, your Wolf Nerd.